So welcome back guys to a brand new video. Now today we're going to be going through all of the most recent updates that have gone live for Ark Survival Evolved on the PC, Xbox and the PlayStation. There is so much going on in the community now and if you haven't seen my past videos I recommend you check them out because it kind of gives you an idea of what's coming out for the game all the way up until the end of 2021. But anyway, let's get on with the information. If you do get all of it, make sure to smash that like button. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. If we could try and get over 700 likes on today's video, that would mean so much to me. And let's get in with today's video. Now, we'll be going through the community crunch at the end of the video, just in case you guys haven't seen it. There'll be a new one on Friday, which I'm hoping will get the Lost Island release date. We might not, but it's getting so close now to October. And that's kind of the ETA. I'm guessing we're going to be getting the map. I don't really know, but let's just hope for that release date this Friday. So starting off with the PC patch notes, as you can see, um, there's quite a few that I haven't gone through in a video recently. So fixed an issue related to the placement of the new dedicated storage boxes failing to retain items after a restart. Now this has come from this update, which is fix an exploit and then refactor, uh, refactored uh, the tech dedicated storage. This is a rework of the structure for server optimization. It should improve stability across the board due to a huge memory savings on large slash active servers. It will generally function the same and you can still deposit and withdraw but there are a few changes to be noted and these are the changes so you'll now be able to slot cap yourself directly using the transfer all button when using the dedicated storage and it will ignore your weight um, number two, you'll no longer see an inventory inside the de dedicated storage box when opening it. Don't worry, your items are still there. And three, you will no longer be able to popcorn spamming the O key to drop items from the dedicated storage directly, but you can now transfer a slot cap into your own inventory and popcorn from there. So these are the new changes obviously as you can see that are noted here with the de uh, tech dedicated storage and this issue here uh, related to the placement of the new one has now been sorted so this actually hasn't been added to console yet i'm sure it is something that will be added in into the next patch as you guys know when a pc update goes live they always test it on pc first because it is as i've mentioned over the years of being an arc player they will always test it on pc because it's like a long Longer up, it takes longer to release an update and, and change an update on console due to like the certification with Sony and Microsoft. So the update before that was fix the network incompatibility which caused clients to disconnect when interacting with certain structures, um, fix an issue with a bad build which caused game content to be destroyed. If you have updated your server, you'll need to patch it uh, uh, to, uh, to uh, not, well, uh, well, 30, you'll need to patch it to dot uh, three two, and you may need to roll back your save file. This was obviously something that had been going on in the community uh, and, and the devs were talking about it a lot about the rollbacks and stuff on Twitter. Um, and then the other update, which I haven't covered yet, was Genesis Part 1 mission, a hexagon rewards increased and fixed multiple exploits. So that is everything that had been going on with the community on PC. Now, when it comes to console, the console stuff is pretty quiet. Um, as mentioned, that will probably come to a later patch on console. But so far, it was just fixed and exploit. The Genesis Part 1 mission hexagon re uh, rewards were increased, fixed multiple exploits. And then when you scroll down, really the last few updates over the few months have just been fixed exploits. And it's been exactly the same on the PlayStation, fix and exploit, Genesis Part 1 mission hexagon rewards increase and then fix multiple exploits and more and more and more which is obviously a positive thing like you can't um you know it's not a bad thing that obviously we haven't got big updates because these ones actually mean a lot to the game because it stops people cheating it stops people exploiting meshes and everything like that that's been going on the game for a very long time now, one thing that did confuse me when I came to the Xbox patch notes is it says, obviously for PC, updated 15, um, uh, the 15th of uh, September and obviously the 14th here on PlayStation. But for some reason, it says that it's been updated the 104th day of September. So wildcard, you might need to change that. Um, but yeah, um, I suppose that's just that there. Um, so that is the full update that's been going on with Arc right now. <clears throat> 
this was the community crunch 283 this is where two days ago i covered about what's been going on where they said this week we're taking a look at what's happening in the community in the community corner things may seem quiet on the home front but we're gearing up for a great close out to the end of the year of arc survival evolved the lost islands coming out three new creatures another community creature vote which a lot of people are thinking there's not going to be another map. They think it's just going to be a creature vote uh, separately from a new map. So it will just be for every, uh, like a, a creature added onto all the maps. The Extra Life event, which will be big for ARC 2 and obviously raising money for a great charity. That will be in November. Holiday events such as Fear Evolved and the Christmas event and New Year's. And uh, yeah, and more will give everyone something to just enjoy this holiday season. There was an EVO event that finished on Monday and hopefully there might be another one this week weekend we shall see and then just the community corner that I, uh, that I looked at in my last video which was um, you know big shout out to the creator Leo for the, uh, uh, this obviously the 100 day series has become so popular recently and uh, this video was 100 days as a master tamer on Arc Survival Evolved Crystal Isles um, CJ the cheese DJ another big arc youtuber with the top 10 traveling creatures to tame and then some fantastic um, fan art that I did cover in my last video, if you guys would like to check that out. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I've somehow managed to go through this video without coughing too much, because I seem to just have a really sore throat at the moment. See, but everything seems to be fine apart from that. Uh, but yeah, no, uh, some really awesome stuff here. Ferox there. Um, we've got some uh, Raptor. I just, as always mentioned in all my videos, the fan art is always fantastic. Um, and then scrolling down a little bit more, we get to the in-game screenshots of Ark Survival Evolved, which always look absolutely fantastic. Have a great weekend, Studio Wildcard. So, that is everything you need to know to keep you up to date with the game right now with the patch. As always, I'll be keeping you guys up to date with the game whenever anything is released, anything is changed or anything is updated as I've been doing over the last six, five to six years. It's just crazy to think it's that long. Cannot wait for the future. Let's hope for a Lost Island um, release date this Friday with the Community Crunch. Please give it to us, Wildcard. We shall see. Anyway, thank you for watching. Leave a like, subscribe, and I'll catch you in my next ARC video very soon.